Um, hey YouTube, Oracle DBA girl here. Uh, for this video, I want to uh, basically um, show you all how to apply a web logic patch. I'm actually doing some patching now uh, for Oracle EBS. I had a web logic patch to apply. Um, my friend, we we kept trying to get up, but we kept missing each other. So I'm making this video for him, but I felt like it'd be good to put on my YouTube channel as well. So this is basically how you apply a patch using the uh, um, the smart utility. It's extremely easy to do. So we'll go ahead and get right in it. I just signed in, and um, you have to be signed in with X Launcher if you're on Windows, and if you're on a Mac, X Quartz. Um, so we'll go ahead and get right into it uh, right here. Uh, this is the web logic server 10.3.6 patch um, and, and I'm gonna apply this one um, it's very easy the first thing you want to do is go over to your staging directory um, and I think it's in web logic okay so I have two uh, web logic patches here but we're gonna be applying uh, one seven eight nine three 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 four so um basically all you want to do is let's go into this patch and you want to move the 759 c jar and uh this file you want to move it into uh the patching directory so to do that um I don't know the or, the home by heart, so I'm just gonna um, CD over there. You want to go to uh, the Fusion Middleware home, so I'm just gonna CD over there now. Home apps CD is, and it could be different depending on your file system. This is uh, this is um, Oracle EBS. Are 12.2 so my file system may be totally different from yours but you want to go into uh, diffusion middleware home as you can see is right here so I'm gonna go there and once you get here you want to go into utils and then here you want to go into uh, BSU okay that's where you're gonna apply the patch and then right there you want to go once you get here you want to go into cache directory so this is the directory that you have to be in if you do ls you see um, files similar to the files that I said you want to copy here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do pwd to show my directory because I'm gonna have to come back here and then I'm gonna go back to my staging directory and I think I already typed it out there it is right there so if I do a ls I'm gonna go uh, one seven eight nine okay I'm in this directory so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy um, 7f and the patch directory I'm gonna copy that to this directory okay so it's there so uh, now what I will do is just CD back to that directory to verify it's there okay you see the 75C9J and this patch catalog is there so all you have to do is CD back one directory and you see the BSU.SH well we're gonna execute that And it's going to open the smart utility. I forgot what the B stands for, to be honest with you. I th basic. I think it stands for basic smart utility. And this thing is really slow, in my opinion. It takes a while to come up. Um, so I'm going to pause the video because it's a whole, it's a lot of hurry up and wait with this utility. But um, as soon as it populates, I will go ahead and press play. So be right back. 
okay you guys it just came back up and as you can see it says refreshing patch information if you look at the screen you have all the patches that have already been applied at the top and then at the bottom it says downloaded patches so this is the patch that we're gonna be applying and as you can see it's a very simple setup um, and well over here it says target installations I have two file systems on this uh, web logic cluster so because of that um, it's two identical file system for high av availability but uh, we're just gonna focus on the first one I'll go back and patch the second one later um, but as you all can see it's still refreshing I told you this utility to me is extremely slow um, so we'll wait until this get done doesn't take too long to finish but uh, yeah it is slow in my opinion I guess I can go ahead and tell you all what I do. Simply, when this gets finished, see this button here it says apply. All I'm going to do is click on that button. And it's going to uh, check for conflicts. And once you check for conflicts, it will go ahead and, you know, uh, upload it to this part. So that's basically it. Real, real simple. Real simple. And I said all the time with Oracle is just hurry up and wait. And that's basically what's going on now. We have to wait for this to get done. I don't know um, what takes it so long, but it's just chilling along doing this thing. I'll go ahead and pause it until this gets done. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Okay, just completed. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit apply. Okay, you see this message? Um, just telling you basically, you know, um, just be careful how you do this and make sure that this is, uh, you have the bug that you need to, uh, you have the recommended bug. Only applied if you have the recommended book. Just their generic um, information. So, sit okay. And right now, it's going to check for conflicts. I don't think this takes long, but uh, it's, uh, we're still waiting. And you can't even see it right now. I'm not sure what's going on with this GUI, but it's always like this. Um, it works, but I guess it wasn't properly developed. I can't say. Um, I usually don't see anything until this is done, but this doesn't take too long. It just tells you that, you know, there was no conflicts, um, with the, with, uh, the patch and you can go ahead and patch it. But I'll pause it until this get done as well, because as you all can see, I can't see anything. And if I can't see anything, I know you all can't. So I'll just pause it. Okay. You all see this, uh, no conflict detected. We can see that now. So just hit OK. And then it's going to start to install the um, patch. See it says installing. So just let that run. And as you can see, it's done. And that's basically it. Um, if you come over here, you see it right here. So that's it. So what I do is I just exit out. And that is how you uh, apply a web logic patch. I'll go ahead and do the second one. Um, and I'm just going to use what I had. Uh, is copying it. Well, wait, I'm not in that directory. So let me go over to that directory. And I think it was 1789. Okay, so I'm in that directory. What I want to do is come back and for the second one, well, wait, here we go. Okay, copy it. We want to copy it to file system number two. Okay, so now that it's in file system number two, I am going to go towards that way. I'll come here. Make sure it's there, which we already know it is, but it won't hurt to check. As you can see, last two there. 
So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Um, I'm gonna say shbsu.sh, and it's gonna bring up the utility again. Again, it's slow. <laughs> So this is just showing you all how to patch uh, web logic. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Um, I am going to uh, pause it again because this is going to take a while. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. This is the second file system, as you can see, and the same file is here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Apply. And... Um, Again, you guys, I really don't like this utility because it's so slow to me. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It took a while to come up, and it's taken a while to actually apply it. But I've clicked on it. Um, so you see how this goes. Uh, this is the only Oracle application that I've seen that is this slow. And I know at work we use a command line for the BSU. And I don't know. It just is slow. So... But just showing you all how to use it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and pause it because it's slow. Be back. Okay, you guys. I went ahead and applied the patch. It was just way too slow. But uh, that's basically all you have to do to apply a WebLogic patch. Just uh, copy the files over to uh, that cache directory and just... Once you do that, just run the bsu.sh and um, just upload it. So I hope this was helpful to you all. Have a blessed day. Happy studying. And uh, let me continue to hear the great stories that you all have, okay? Oracle DBA Girl signing off.